Welcome to Kite Setup, where we take a close look at setting up your gear. Firstly, as per Chapter 1, choose the right location. Ensure there is space downwind of you and the area is clear of obstacles, including anything sharp that may puncture your kite. Take your kite out of its bag and lay it across the ground with the leading edge upwind. Ensure any deflate valves are closed and attach your pump, being careful to keep sand out of the inner of the kite, remembering to attach the pump leash so it won't blow away while pumping. Pump up your kite until you reach the desired PSI level as per the manufacturer's recommendations, or if you have no gauge, it should be inflated enough so that it forms a C shape easily when held on the ground during a launch. Check that it feels firm to touch and also ask another experienced kiter for advice. Okay, so our kite is now inflated. We can remove the pump and leash and turn the kite over, securing it by using sand or if you're on the beach or something else that won't damage the kite to help keep it in place. Ensure the leading edge is always facing directly into the wind. We can now easily check that the bridle lines and rear steering lines are separated as they are often crossed over each other after being unpacked. It's good to separate them and lay them on the ground for easy attachment to the lines. Next, starting from the back of your kite, walk and unwind the lines from your bar as you go and lay them along the ground. Then place the bar on the ground with the red bar end or lines to the right. As we are setting up this kite from behind, you need to reverse the bar so that when it's launched and flying, the red end will be on the left. Now, starting from the bar, walk towards the kite, separating the lines as you go. To make this simple, step into the lines, keeping the steering lines outside your hips and the two centre lines going between your legs. It also helps to hold one hand with your fingers up, separating the lines as you go, whilst the other hand helps to spread the lines out as you move forward. Once you have separated all the lines, lay them along the ground in front of their corresponding lines from the kite. Remember, steering lines from the outside of the bar attach to the back or trailing edge of the kite, whilst the centre lines will attach to the bridle lines coming from the leading edge of the kite. Now we can attach the lines together using the pigtail connectors. Slide the knot so they are butting up against each other and pull both ends to ensure a good tight connection. Stand at the bar and make your first visual check. The red lines on this occasion should be on the right and go from the outside of the bar to the trailing or rear edge of the kite. The opposite side will do the same and the centre lines should go all the way from the chicken loop unobstructed until they reach the centre bridle lines of the kite. It's also a really good idea to pick up the bar and check the steering or back lines by pulling them out to the side so you can get a good clear view. They need to attach directly to the kite without being crossed over by any other lines. Do this also with the centre lines by holding them clear of the outside lines. Once you are satisfied that all lines are correctly attached to the kite, you are ready to launch. If unsure, ask a more experienced kiter to check your lines. If you try to launch a kite with cross lines, it will behave unpredictably and is very dangerous and may damage yourself, others or your equipment. If your pigtail connector is not looped, you can loop it yourself making the lark's head knot. The connectors are also different to ensure that you attach the correct lines from the bar to the kite. 
It's also a good idea to regularly check your lines for knots. These will create weak points and must be removed. Before setting up your kite, be sure to check with the manufacturer's instructions for any other information. When the wind is blowing, you often want to get out onto the water as soon as possible. However, kite setup should never be rushed. Incorrect procedure here will create much larger problems when the kite is launched. So get it right the first time and launch your kite with peace of mind.